Stay tuned. In this video, we're going to make kanji for our dogs. Perfect for upset bellies. It's going to happen when you least expect it, diarrhea. Today, I'm going to show you how I make Dexter's doggy kanji, and then I freeze it into small portions for whenever that diarrhea happens. It's about being prepared for the runs. But first, I do want to talk a little bit about when your dog does have diarrhea. There are times when you want to go to the vet instead of trying to treat at home. I do have a link to an article I wrote with a vet in the description below that covers some of the top reasons why you should see a vet with your dog instead of trying to treat your dog's diarrhea at home. So please check that out. And when in doubt, when you're dealing with your dog's health, go see the vet. <laughs> Don't self-medicate. It's always important that you get the proper diagnosis. But there's a lot of times when you do get the proper diagnosis from your vet that they try to send you home with a prescription canned dog food to kind of help ease your dog's belly. That's definitely an option. When I look at those ingredients, they're not something that I feel comfortable giving Dexter. So instead, I have this dog kanji recipe. When you're treating your dog's diarrhea at home, the first thing that we want to do is we want to rest that belly. Usually the first step with diarrhea is to withhold your dog's food for about 12 hours. You want to make sure he has plenty of access to fresh water. I actually like to provide Dexter with bone broth during this time. This helps give him some nutrients without causing an upset to his belly and it actually usually soothes the belly. Once your dog is ready to start eating some food, kanji is like a gruel and like a porridge. So it's broken down food so that it's gonna be easier for your dog to digest. If you're a kibble feeder, that's gonna be highly processed and it's really hard for your dog to digest, especially if he's trying to deal with an upset belly. And with our kanji recipe, we're going to be working with low-fat foods. So what you'll find out is I actually use turkey instead of ground hamburger because turkey is a much leaner meat. Once again, please seek the help of your dog's vet before you try to do anything on your own. So let's sneak into Dexter's kitchen and get this kanji going. So this is going to be a pretty easy recipe to make. It will take some time to cook because what we want to do is we want to really break down this food so that it's easier for our dogs to digest, especially when they have those upset bellies. I'm going to start with two cups of quick cook steel oats, or you can use traditional steel cut oats. The quick oats have already been broken down a little more, so that will help with the digestion too. So either is fine, but but the important thing to remember, we always want to look at that ingredient label. So even if you're grabbing a bag or a, a container of steel cut oats, you might think that's all it is. Well, you flip it over and you read that panel and sometimes there's other things inside of it. So these are organic and there wasn't anything else inside. So remember, flip that over. So we're going to take our two cups and we're going to put it in our slow cooker. You got to love these slow cooker recipes. The other two ingredients that we're going to use, but not yet, is we're going to use two cups of pureed pumpkin. And again, we want to flip over that, that label to read it to make sure that it's just pure pumpkin, that it doesn't have any other spices or sugars. This is approximately two cups. It's a 15 ounce can. If you want to use fresh whole pumpkin, the meat portion, not the shell, then go ahead and, and put that in there now. So you're going to want to have your whole pumpkin, if you choose to use that, cut up into tiny little pieces, about two cups, and you're going to put that in your slow cooker now. But if you're using the canned pumpkin, you're going to save that for later. The other thing that I'll be adding at the end is I have two tablespoons of freshly grated ginger. If you don't have fresh ginger, you can use half of a teaspoon of ground ginger. And again, we're going to save that for later. Into the oats, you're going to add 10 cups of filtered water. But wait, there's more. I almost forgot the main ingredient, our ground turkey. So boneless ground turkey breast is going to be really lean. And this is what we want, especially when your dogs have an upset belly, because too much fat, like hamburger, can agitate that belly. So instead, ground turkey, breast if possible. You're looking for that lean meat. I have one pound. If you didn't screw up like I did, it's best to put this meat in before your water so it doesn't splash. So I do want to go ahead and kind of break up that turkey just a little bit just to help when it cooks. So just to recap the correct way, your oats, your turkey, if you're using fresh pumpkin, your diced fresh pumpkin, then the water. Remember, it's all fun and it all will work out. 
So the next step is I'm going to put it in my slow cooker, turn it on high, and I'm going to bring it to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, then I'm going to reduce that heat to simmer until I get a nice porridgey consistency. Remember, we want to break everything down. So now that everything's cooked down, I'm going to add the pumpkin and I'm going to add the ginger. Pretty simple. We're just going to toss that in there. That was a fresh ground ginger and our pumpkin. Toss that in there. I want to stir this and combine it really well. This is a lot. This recipe is quite large. As you can see, once everything cooked down, it almost has this whole slow cooker filled. So if you only have one dog, you might want to cut the recipe in half or cut the recipe in a fourth. I'm actually going to be sharing this with one of my dog training students. So that's why I went ahead and, and made a nice big batch. The other thing is, for me, if I haven't gone through my kanji, meaning it's in Dexter's freezer and he hasn't eaten it all because he hasn't had belly aches, I will toss out old batches and make new batches. So it's not sitting in there for years and years. So this is the consistency that you'll get. For Dexter's recipe, it ended up being on high for about two hours, and then it was on low, the low simmer, for another four hours. And throughout that time, I did check on it, and I did give it a nice stir so that there wasn't going to be any burning or sticking on the bottom. After I turned it off, I did let it cool on the counter for maybe two hours, and then I placed it in the refrigerator overnight to fully cool down. Once everything's stirred together, I'm going to put it in different molds, put it in Dexter's freezer, let them fully freeze, and once they're fully frozen, I'm actually going to pop them out of the molds and then put them in another storage container and put them in Dexter's freezer. And then they'll be ready to go. Anytime Dexter has diarrhea or an upset belly, I can just thaw one of these cubes. So if you thought this video was helpful, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. You can subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to dive deeper into your dog's behavior, training, and care, check out my Patreon page. The link is below. Until next time, remember to pause and enjoy life and we'll see you in the next video.